Greetings all, I'm Bill Vensel. This is Chords of Orion, and you may notice that I'm wearing a Sweetwater t-shirt. While this is not a paid promotional video, Sweetwater was kind enough to send me a demo unit of the dual marine layer. I just want to give them a shout out because they're a great retailer. I personally have purchased thousands of dollars worth of equipment. They're awesome. Check them out in the links below. Let's get on with a demo. The Dual Marine Layer is a really straightforward, great sounding mono reverb pedal. And I think it's ideal for combining with some other great sounding pedals and then plugging everything into the front end of your amplifier. Obviously, a Fender amp is a great candidate with a Fender reverb. And in my amp modeling system, I've got a Fender reverb mod or a Fender Deluxe reverb model set up. Here's what that sounds like. And I've got this dual marine layer set up so that it feeds into the front end of that amp model. All right, here's a little taste of what the pedal sounds like. So what's going on here? Well, basically the pedal's got three different types of reverbs. There's a little switch here that allows you to kind of go back and forth between the three. We'll check them all out. There's also two rows of controls and they allow you to do two discrete reverb settings. And then in addition to the bypass button, there's also a button or switch in the middle that allows you to switch between the two settings. So, for example, maybe in the chorus of a song, you want this big ethereal reverb sound, you can switch to that, and then when you hit the verse, you can switch to another reverb setting that's more dialed back and subtle. There's also a momentary switch on the lower right-hand side that functions as a sustain button along with a sustain control. And when you press it and hold it down, it will lengthen the decay time of your reverb setting. So you get a temporary, temporary, longer reverb time. All right, let's go ahead and check out some settings again. Here's what I had dialed up. And I'm using reverb type one with the longest decay time. Let's switch to type two. Let's switch to type three. Bring that level up on type three. You can hear in particular type three's got a really long decay time. But if we increase the damping control, we can kind of bring that more. It will still be long, but it will be more under control. Okay, let me go ahead and reduce the damping all the way. Whoa. Right, really big. Let's go ahead and check out modulation. Here's no modulation on type three. Here's modulation all the way up on type three. So you can, you can definitely hear the difference. The modulation is not out of control crazy though. Every setting is very usable. And I would say even, a, even the most extreme setting is fairly subtle. And the great thing about having a modulating reverb is that in many cases, you can get away without actually using a chorus pedal. So if I add in a delay effect, this is a tape delay effect, but I leave that modulation up, check this out. Now 
Now let me bring the controls back a little bit. Let's make it a little more subtle. And I'm going to leave that delay in there because really you're going to use this reverb with other effects, aren't you? I know I would, Will. Yeah, it adds a nice fullness to that delay. Bring it back in. Yeah, just really nice. What I'd like to do now is demonstrate switching between reverb A and B. So reverb A, I've adjusted it a little bit. It's pretty much what we've just heard, except now it's reverb type two. Okay, let me turn that tape echo off so you can hear just the reverb. All right, let's go ahead and switch to reverb B and see what's going on. With one flip of a switch, I get. Yeah, so I can set up two radically different delay types, delay settings, I should say. And it's really nice, again, when you start adding the other effects of your pedal board chain into the mix. Hopefully your mind is kind of thinking about the possibility of switching between two very different types of reverb settings. All right, let's really focus on the three reverb types. I've got my reverb A set up with no damping, the longest decay time, and the highest level so we can really hear what's going on. Here's reverb type one. So that's a very full sounding kind of reverb. Let's try type two now. To me, reverb two has a little less everything versus reverb type one. It's a little more mellow. A little more kind of springish sounding, spring reverb sounding, but here's type one again. To me, it just seems bigger. All right, let's try type three. While type three is perhaps not as enormous sounding as type one, it has a very long decay time if you crank it all the way up. And this makes it really nice for volume swell type of work. Also, if you add in some distortion, things can get pretty interesting. Let me go ahead and set that back to type one. And let's make it a little more mellow with some damping and we'll try some lead.
right, just for grins, let me switch between the short and long reverb settings with the distortion on. Once again, a big thanks to Sweetwater for sending me this demo unit of the Dual Marine Layer. Links are in the description below. I've got a playlist here of other Fender pedals I've demoed, and I'll see all of you on the next video.